All right, welcome back to Blue Ridge Homestead. Hey, today we're going to be making some chicken stock or chicken broth, as some people call it. Um, I got my turkey hooker out. I've already put two pitchers of water, so this will be the third gallon. This is an 18-quart turkey cooker. I put it on 350 degrees, and I will uh, leave it on 350 until everything is good and cooked in. So your chicken stock, you're obviously going to want a little bit of chicken. Um, these are some green onion tops that uh, we cut this morning. This is chicken that uh, some bones and meat such as that. We Chicken we raised here and that we ate and I'm going to put it in there that'll give it the chicken flavor save your scraps from your veggies and all that good stuff during the year this is a bag of it's got red onions some uh, sweet peppers carrots little bits of squash tops off the onions anything like that save it put it in a bag in the freezer when you want to make this stuff it comes in real handy you got all these vegetables here there's there's some pieces of okra in there also you're not gonna you're not gonna eat this but it can benefit you down the road such as now even those skins on the onions keep those a lot of good nutrients in there a lot of flavor in there as well so take all those and uh, put them in a bag put them in the freezer just keep adding to it add to it add to it till you've got one full so you're not going to eat the scraps anyway so you might as well get a benefit out of them in another way so you take the take them just kind of pull them apart the best you can let them let them get down in that water. So we've got sweet peppers and red onions, little okra, all kinds of stuff in there. Chicken's starting to thaw out a little bit. It'll separate. We'll put this on 350, like I said, and we'll cook it until everything's good and hot um, you're going to cook at total time about 24 to 36 hours it's going to kind of depend on how well it cooks how fast it cooks these are carrots tops and uh, pieces that we've taken off during the year when we harvested carrots in the spring so we'll uh, put that in there get all that goodness out of all this stuff once we uh, get done the scraps that come out of this they'll go to the chickens and uh, they'll lay us some eggs and uh, we'll get use out of it again like I said 24 hours cooking in this 350 till it's good and bubbly we'll check back in on it once it's uh, cooked for a little bit. So y'all stay with us. All right, so everything is done cooking. And uh, I've already strained most of the vegetables out of this. what was left of the vegetables set that right there um, this is how I do it you may not want to do it that way one thing to note is that this has meat in with it you can do an all vegetable broth if that's what you choose if you put meat in it then you're going to want to can it a little bit longer than you would with just straight vegetables so like, I'm gonna can this 
in my quart jars for 60 minutes. Now, some people might say that's not long enough. Some people say that's too long. That's just what I do. I had good luck with it. Nobody's ever gotten sick, but you do what you feel is necessary for you and your family. So what I'll do is I'll take a coffee cup and sometimes this does get a little messy. I'll take just a little at a time in my clean jars. I'll fill these jars up, run it through this little strainer basket here. It catches the big particles. There may be some stuff in there, but it will be minuscule, tiny. So I'll fill these up, leave them an inch of head space. You don't get broth this color in the store. What you get in the store, they take a quart of broth and then they mix it in probably two gallons of water. So they'll take a quart of broth and they'll make nine quarts out of it, including the one they already had. So that's what you're getting. I didn't add any seasoning to this, no salt. Whatever you put it in, that's when you'll add your seasoning. If you salt this and then make a soup and salt the soup, you may end up with something that's way too salty or raises your blood pressure sky high. So I will take a napkin, dry, white vinegar, just get it on there and wipe the rim of the jar. That gets just an extra layer of protection to get anything that's on there off. And I will take my flat, set it right down on top of it. And I will screw the lid down, not super tight, but snug. And I'll take my jar, wipe any excess off the bottom. I'll put it in the canner, which is here. If you want to come over here and show them the canner. The canner has hot water in it. I've got it on the stove heating up. So the uh, liquids are both basically the same temperature or just before boiling. If you have hot water, hot water, if you have hard water, you want to add a little bit of vinegar maybe that much to the water you put in your canner. That'll keep your jars from getting that white powdery coating on them. So I'm gonna load seven jars in this, just like I did that one. And then I'm going to let the temperature come up, can them, and I'll come back and show you the results when we're done. All right, so the canner has done its thing. Came off of uh, the hot burner. Pressure reliefs went down. There's no steam escaping here. You pull this off. No steam here. That's You know it's safe to open your canner now. Do not try to release that pressure early. You will cause some issues for yourself your jars could explode so we don't we don't want nobody to do that you just gently pull them out i tip them over and drain the water off and take them and set them over right there with the rest of them we ended up with 14 quarts and we probably ended up putting two quarts in our soup pot for today we're making some vegetable soup but it does have chicken in it so pretty good I didn't didn't have a small bag of corn to put in with it so I ended up getting one we bought from the store a can I got off the sale rack for 79 cents so everything else was raised here grown here 
So we got a pot of soup right there. And aside from electricity, cost us 79 cents. So what's left over from it, if anything, we will go ahead and uh, can it too. But uh, let me find my pot holder. I'll show you a little bit of what it looks like. Got some squash in there. Squash and beans, carrots, chicken, corn, a little bit of okra in there. Some more potatoes. Like I said, everything was grown here, aside from the corn. That's what we're gonna have for supper tonight. And we did use two quarts of that broth in here. So very healthy soup for us. So uh, one other thing, you can make this with beef, venison, chicken. I don't know if I would use pork, but you could. Um, all vegetables if you just want veggies. If you don't want it as strong as this, you can dilute it down. Uh, it's very good for you. It's full of vitamins and minerals. As many vegetables as we had in there, that stuff probably low with A and D and C and K. Just a ton of vitamins. The use beef bones, chicken bones, all the minerals, calcium in those bones will come out into the liquid. And it's, it's like a vitamin shot for you. I know people that will drink a hot cup of coffee and then they'll drink a hot cup of that right behind it. So, But this here, this is what it looks like when it's done. It's not see-through. Kind of almost resembles tea. But that's what it is. Like I said, we ended up with 14 quarts. And... Uh, if you have any questions leave them on the video leave them in the comments um, follow us on instagram like i said we got our youtube page up um, we've got a facebook group you come join that but until next time this is lewis and Zally for blue ridge homestead saying come grow with us